Hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of our playshooter tutorial series. Today we will be learning how to make a boss fight and improving the basic movement of the player. At the end of this tutorial, the game will be looking something like this. As you can see, we have this really big boss pain and it's shooting these rockets at us. Eventually, if we shoot it enough, we win. Okay, let's just get right into it. First, head into the player sprite and turn the plane 90 degrees. So, it is facing right. Then go into code and say, when clicked, forever, point in direction. Then we will do X position divided by 10. So it will change its direction based on the X position. Let's just try that out now. As you can see, that looks way better. Next, we move on to the enemy sprites. Here, you want to make a new costume for the boss. As you can see, it is also facing the right. This boss will appear when a certain number of enemies are defeated. For demonstration purposes, let's just say that the number of enemies you have to defeat is 5. But in reality, I would recommend something like 50. So we go to code. Here in the forever loop, we will replace it with a repeat until. And we'll repeat until the score is bigger bigger than 4 then we will show go to front layer set the size to 700% but of course this is dependent on how big your costume is so mine is small that's why this size is so big then we will switch costume to boss and then point in direction 180 degrees so it is facing forward but the other costumes are not facing right so put a point in direction 90 after one clicked now we want it to be off screen so go to x0 and y250 then we want to Glide it on screen, so glide 1 seconds to x0 and y80. Next, you will take a forever loop, point and say Churant's player, and this gives a really cool effect. Another thing we will do is if touching shots, we will change and amount of hits by 1. Amount of hits is 0 right now since we have set it here and each clone has their own amount of hits. Okay, now we will actually make it so we can defeat the enemy. So it's going to be a really large health. So if amount of hits is bigger than 249, so if it's 250 and bigger, then we will switch costume to explosion 1 then we will wait 0.1 seconds switch costume to explosion 2 wait another 0.1 seconds then we will hide and we want the player to process what has happened a bit so then we will wait one second and finally broadcast a new message called win now this explosion is going to be too small, so we're going to set size to 900% before switching costume to explosion 1. Before moving on to the next section, I would like to ask you to like and subscribe if you are enjoying this video. It would really mean a lot to me. The next thing we have to do is code a new sprite called Rocket. As you can see, this rocket is also pointing to the right. Now, we're going to hide it one click, so we only want it to show during the boss battle. So, when I receive, and we're going to make a new message for this, we're going to call it boss fight. So, when I receive boss fight, show, then repeat until the amount of hits of enemies is bigger than 249. Then we're going to wait one second and create a clone of myself. So we're going to be creating a clone every second. Now when I start as a clone, we're going to take this show and put it here. And so when I start as a clone, we're going to show. Then we're going to set size to 1000%. Of course, that's only if your sprite is as small as mine. As you can see, that is really tiny. So that's why I'm putting the set size to 1000% then we're going to point towards players so we like basically aiming and then we will actually shoot so repeat until touching 
edge, move 15 steps, and then finally move another 15 steps to go completely off screen. And then we're going to delete this clone. Now, we're not actually receiving this boss fight yet, so go to enemies, and right after glide 1 seconds, we're going to broadcast boss fight. And here we're going to change something too, we're going to say or score is bigger than 4. So if we reach 5, all the planes on screen are going to explode and make way for the boss. So that will look really cool at the end. Now we go to player and make the player actually receive damage when you hit a rocket. So if touching enemies or touching rocket. Now finally, we're going to go into sprite 1, so this is the wind slash loose screen. Now, I have added a switch costume to game over here, because now we have two costumes. Now I'm going to hide the variable lives when it's game over, since we don't need it anymore, and show it when clicked. And then, when I receive win, I'm going to show, go to front layer, switch costume to costume 2, so the wind screen, and finally, I'm going to stop on and one more thing you want to hide the viral lives here too okay now let's try it out as you can see it is working perfectly if you want another method of showing the lives a health bar is a really good one and I'll leave a link to it in the description down below